how to enable or disable USB tethering on the Google Nexus 5 to share your mobile data or internet connections. Now first tapping on the home key to go back to the home screen, then go into settings, then tap on more, then tap on tethering and portable hotspot. And you can see here the USB tethering is um, inactive, so you need to um, plug in the USB cable one end to the phone and the other end to the computer over here so you should plug into the PC once it is uh, plugged in you can see this option now become active so tap on that option and now the phone is uh, tether so my PC is not connecting um, to a Wi-Fi or anything so it's got no internet but it's the only internet it has now is through the phone so it's using um, my uh, 4G on the phone here so I'm just going to do a refresh on the page So if it doesn't work on uh, first go, sometimes you might have to uh, pluck it out and pluck it back in. So I'll do what I do. I just if it doesn't work straight away, just simply uh, try to pluck it out and then pluck it back in. And let's let the page try again. I find out it doesn't always work straight away. And sometimes the phone might take, um, the computer might take a while for it to detect the phone software or setup. So what I do, I'm just going to plug it in again. So I'm going to tap on that. So it's active. So just give your computer a few seconds or a minute. So just wait for a while, maybe 10 or 20 seconds. So I'm just going to plug it in, it still doesn't work for some reason on the laptop, so I'm just going to plug it in again. So I'm going back into settings, more tethering, and enable it. Once I enable it, you can see this networking icon is just go around and around the circles, so it's trying to establish our connections. So now you can see this time it works fine. See there you go, you can see it works perfectly fine. I can do a search. So uh, if it doesn't work the first time, try again and try again. Maybe it takes a few times for it to work. So don't give up. Thanks for watching this video. Please leave a comment in the comment section. Thank you for watching.